other thing I wanted to try, because so many people ask me about it, is throttle body EFI. That's my plan. Those three things, suspension, paint, EFI. I can't help but notice that you're just standing around while I'm unloading <laughs> the El Cacino. Well, you want me to get to work? All right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, putting me to work already. We're back inside the shop at Hot Rod Ranch, and now that we have the carburetor working absolutely flawlessly, we are going to get rid of it and install the Holly Sniper EFI. This is one of the super, super popular things going on in the aftermarket right now, which is throttle body fuel injection. Basically, it's a bolt-on replacement for a carburetor. One of the more popular versions of this setup is the Holly Sniper, and they just came out with the Holly Sniper 2 which is what this is. So the basics of this are, you bolt this in place of the carburetor and it's got linkage on the side just like a carburetor. As a matter of fact, one of the upgrades on the Sniper 2 is that there are more transmission kickdown possibilities on the linkage. They've also changed the linkage ratio. It's supposed to be a little bit better. The computer is inside this unit right here. You should only have to hook up four wires plus your electric fuel pump, and it's got the self-learning deal with the little touch screen. You just tell it what your engine combination is, and it loads a map. One of the major upgrades that they made is more electrical noise interference resistance. There was a problem with setups like this where the distributor is right next to it where it can make electrical noise and mess with the computer. This has more shielding for that. Steve's over there installing the throttle body, which is just replacing the carburetor. It's the easiest mechanical part of this entire thing. Here's the thing that I've learned about EFI in general. It's not that hard, you just have to not fear it. And to be honest, the sniper deal here makes it pretty easy. So we're gonna keep it simple like this. Whoosh! Fewer wires, and there is a separate harness to use if you're not using the PDM. That's this right here, and you can tell the difference because it has a fuel pump relay in it. So once again, this isn't that complicated. They tell you exactly where to hook wires, and I think I'm gonna be able to pull it off and get it right the first time. I'm gonna attempt to change the coolant temperature sensor without making a big mess. Ready? Oh, you made a big mess. I would not have made any mess at all if I had not used the power tool. <laughs> I just plugged in the EFI harness and ran main battery power, switched ignition power, got a tack signal out of the HEI. Now I am going to find a way to run this CAN bus cable through the firewall to screw into this thing right here out of the back of the sniper throttle body, and then we will have our touch screen inside. It will give us all sorts of tasty tidbits of information. The Sniper 2 is installed, and now I get to go through the setup on the little handheld device. Let me just turn on the ignition. This will be one moment of potential failure. And it works. Please run wizard or load a calibration. I am going to run what they call the setup wizard. So I go wizard, sniper wizard, select sniper type, sniper two, number of cylinders eight, of course. Why do they offer anything else? Next thing I'm gonna do is engine displacement. It's a 460 if it's 30 over, right? That's close enough. Yeah. Then target idle speed. Steve wants 850. Now cam type, street strip. Power adder type, none. Then you have to tell it what type of ignition system you have. This is just being triggered off the negative side of the coil. And now it is loading a system. Start. And it powered on the fuel pump, as you can hear. Go ahead and hit the fuel pump and I'll uh, see if I can set this regulator to 55 PSI. You have to do it pretty quick because the pump's only gonna run for two and a half seconds. Okay. Ready? Yep. Nailed it. He says he nailed it. That means we can make it run. David, you wanna try starting it? First fire with throttle body injection. Runs pretty good. Great. Okay, it's time to hit the road. We're gonna see how the Holly Sniper 2 EFI throttle body setup works and let itself learn and evaluate the performance. The 
Steve, here's the thing. People ask me all the time about these throttle body injection self-learning setups. Yeah. So I figure I don't have an expectation, and neither do you, that this is going to perform better than the carburetor. Like, it's not going to be faster or anything like that. Well, but, no, but the engine doesn't know anything but what its air-fuel ratio is. Right. And this has plenty of airflow, probably way more than yeah. the carburetor because but, there's no boosters in the barrels. But as far as drivability, ease of starting, right. reliability, long-term storage, stuff like that. I mean, we put our carburetor up for two years and we had to take it apart right. and fix it to get back on the road. What we're looking at now is our little handheld controller and it will read out for us the air-fuel ratio that it's targeting and the actual air-fuel ratio. And you can see the percentage of learning on the panel. That does not mean, oh, it's, 90% learned, it's about to be 100% learned. No, the percentage on there is how much fuel is being added or taken away in order to match the estimated baseline table. And then it also knows what it wants the air fuel ratio to be. So once it learns for a while, you can transfer the learning table to the base table and then the amount of correction won't be as much. Right, that's how much offset there is to the base tune. That was the easier way to say it. <laughs> it works. Yeah, runs great. Wow. That's the best it's ever run. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's annihilating the tires. No. <laughs> it runs great. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything we've done to this car. Yeah. Fixed, 100% fixed, runs great. Don't you agree? Yeah. Fixed, 100%, thing runs great.